Hi everyone. So this video will learn how you can populate select options using JavaScript. So let's get started. Let's have a basic HTML structure here. Link to a style sheet. Script file will be here. Script.js. We need one container. We need one button and text will be populate. And we need one empty select element uh, we don't need these attributes so just remove them save it go to style sheet select the container the display will be flex flex direction will be column align items will be center height will be around 60 pixels and Justify content will be space between. Select the select element and give it a width of around 120 pixels. Now just save it, open this file in the browser, and this is the output. Now we'll create an array in the JavaScript, and on the click of this button, we'll populate the select element with a bunch of options. Let's go to script file. Select the button that is populate. Select the select element. So it will be document.query selector. Select. We need an array. So array will be fruits and it will have a couple of fruits here. Let's make it apple, grapes, kiwi, mango, and orange. Let's add event listener to this button. And event will be click. Now first of all we loop through all these fruits and then we'll create an array of options element and we'll convert that options array into a string. So it will go like this, we'll call it options and we'll use map function here. And generate the array of options. So let's make it we need a value attribute so we'll take the fruit and make it in the lowercase and the actual fruit name will go here then we have to make a string out of it because it will return an array for that we'll make use of join method and we'll pass the new line character like this. Then we'll select the inner HTML of the select element, which will be equal to options. Before we go to browser, let me fix this typo. It should be fruits. I just save it, go to browser, click, and these are your select options. So if you want to get the value of selected option or selected text, you can check out my previous video. The link of that video will be in the description. For this video is enough, I think. It's working absolutely fine. If you want to modify this a bit, you can do so. Here you can just make it banana. Save it. Go to browser. Click. And it's working. I hope you got the point how it actually works. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.